my name is Joan and on this channel I make content to help you achieve your endless creative potential. Those topics are related to filmmaking, content creation, DIY photography, and vlogs. Today's video is going to be about thumbnails. If you ever come across any video on YouTube about how to grow on YouTube, one aspect that they always talk about is your thumbnails. Thumbnails are supposed to be eye-catching, colorful, riveting, and everything in between. Thumbnails represent a first impression of your videos and of your channel. Over the course of a year on YouTube, I have noticed countless trends on the platform across videos, across posts, and everything like that. Over the course of a year on YouTube, I have discovered many trends throughout the platform. I also noticed that there are trends within the thumbnails on the platform as well. So today, I will show you four types of thumbnails that are on YouTube right now and how to make them. A simple thumbnail in my definition is usually one picture that is either a screen grab from the video itself or a picture taken for the purpose of a thumbnail. Sometimes there are text on the thumbnail describing what's on the picture or it could be a logo. The size of the text is really important because since it's only one picture, the text acts as a second focal point of the thumbnail. This is considered simple because it's usually one to three aspects of it, the picture, the text, and any other graphic included. And then it does take about five to 15 minutes to create it because it's just kind of a one and done type of deal. The simple thumbnail is good for any topic on YouTube and is easily transferable to any topic. The second thumbnail is the duo thumbnail. The duo thumbnails are two pictures side by side that are either related to each other or describing the video. Again, there could be text as well as graphics on the duo thumbnail such as stars, circles, and arrows. These thumbnails could also take a small amount of time, around 5 to 20 minutes, to create. The duo thumbnail is good for transformation videos and morning routine videos to show a snapshot of the process. The third type of thumbnail is what I call the four corners. This thumbnail has four pictures in the thumbnail. Now, this one is a little bit different because it could be horizontal or vertical, and the greatest thing is that you can move them around to see which layout works best for you. These type of thumbnails utilize text in the center of the thumbnail and graphics to help tell the story. This thumbnail does take about 15 to 25 minutes to make, as well it creates such fun ways to create the thumbnail. This type of thumbnail is usually used on vlogs, what do I eat in a day, what do I eat in a week, a week in my life, a day in my life, videos like those. The fourth type of thumbnail is the collage thumbnail. This one is pretty self-explanatory. A thumbnail with a range of pictures, graphics, and text cut in a way that is very precise. Sometimes a creator might use one vertical photo as the focal point while cutting out each and every specific thing of other photos like bowls of food or a phone perhaps. This thumbnail is probably the most freehand of all because you can literally make it however you want. This thumbnail does take the long longest though, about 30 minutes. However, this type of thumbnail is having a search on the platform and is very popular with vlog type of videos. I've experimented with all these thumbnails and the effectiveness of each one. It just really depends. I am a small channel, so I still have to experiment even now to which one works. So when you're creating your thumbnail, here are a couple more tips to keep in mind. Number one, keep a theme. I know certain content creators, some have only collage thumbnails while some only use duo thumbnails and some either have like a specific theme so like each one will have a blue background or a pink background or they're going to stick to a specific color scheme. If you are looking through your analytics and you figure out which thumbnail style works for you, it wouldn't be a bad idea to keep to it for a while. Number two, try experimenting. There is nothing wrong with changing up your thumbnail theme when you're switching between different topics of your channel. And number three, don't compare yourself. Your videos are your videos. I can tell you everything here and you can literally throw everything I say out the window because your channel is your channel and whatever works for you will work for you. And since it is down to yourself, you shouldn't compare yourself to others because those things work for them. Comparison is where creativity goes to die. So don't lose yourself and always remember just to create for you. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope this video helped you out with figuring out what type of thumbnails that you want to do for your channel and I hope you learned some new things. If you like the content of this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button where I post weekly. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.